check it out, I've got a new trick. Hello humans, my name is Dale Kingsmill and today's video, thankfully, does not involve me using any knives, or I don't think it does, anyway. It is, however, another Halloween video. This one is for 13 Days 13 Shorts, which is a project that Omar from the Two Broke Geeks runs every year, and it's something that I have been wanting to take part in ever since I heard about it. So today is that day. I'm gonna be making candy apples. We have apples. We have chopsticks. Let's do this. All right, now I've got the recipe here somewhere. The one that um, sorted food used. Pour over the bowling boiling bo the bowling water. Pour it all. Pour pour it over the bowling water. Oh, oh dear. Boil a full kettle. Gotcha. Ciao. How much is a full kettle? Like when they say a full kettle, do they mean actually a full kettle, or do they just mean like a reasonable amount of kettle fullness? Surely that's enough water. I need to fill that up more. Wait, wait. If there's water in the spout, that's probably not good, right? Right? Good enough. Put the apples in a bowl and pour in the boiling water. That's loud. Wow. And in the kitchen with my grandma. What's happening? Oh, stickers. There are still stickers on these apples. Ah, that kettle is like a counter. Ah! What have I done? It's fine, no one died. Hurry, 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 hurry! Oh, that is a terrifying sound. It just puts all the pressure on very suddenly. Whoa, no, I'm sorry, Apple. I'm sorry. Okay. It's like a musical instrument, but, you know, really crap. Now we can boil. Go ahead. Boil, boil, boil. boiling water to be splashing about like that, Dale. This is not as elegant as the sorted food guys made it look. <gasps> it's making all the wax come off just like they said. Holy crap, it looks so weird. <gasps> this is, wow, that's a lot of water that fits in a kettle. <laughs> wax side down, melting off the wax. Melting off the wax. Very big bowl, very full of very hot water. This is not a simple system. Okay, I'm gonna burn my own hands off and it's gonna be even more horrific than it would have been if I'd cut myself with those knives. Oh, oh that's a lot of steam in my face. That's a lot of steam in my face right there. All right, and then you need to twist off the things, right? The, the stalks. How, how do you do this? How do you twist off apple stalks? Oh, wait, that was you being funny, wasn't it? Oh, why can't I just pull this out? Oh. <laughs> See if it's easier with the others. Why won't you twist off? I didn't expect this to be this difficult. Oh, that one's gone. Ha 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 ha. Eat it, apple. You thought you'd won. Just keep twisting forever. That's how you do it. I'm learning. I'm learning the secrets of the universe. This one's hissing. You hear that? Demon apple. Yes. Ouch. Ouch. I'm gonna have to cut this one out. I'm legit gonna have to cut this one out with a knife, guys. Where do we keep the smaller pointy things? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope. Okay, look, I don't want any trouble. I just want you to come out of the apple quietly. I nearly pressed my thumb down on that knife blade just then. How are you meant to tell when you're halfway through? Whoops, that is not halfway through. That is more than halfway through. No. Okay, that's fine. Die. Die, apple, die. I probably won't kill myself with wood, right? Unless I am a vampire. Put them in rows of their own color. Tip the sugar into a pan along with 100 mils of water. 
Heat it over a medium heat until the sugar dissolves. Stir in the vinegar. There's vinegar? Oh. Caster sugar? Sugar. 400 grams. 400 grams is, well, if this is one kilogram, it's a little bit less than half the pack. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Okay. That's about right. That's about right, I think. Maybe. Don't not yet, because I need vinegar. Where do we keep that? Where do we keep the white vinegar? <laughs> this could be interesting. Okay, so as it turns out, we don't have white wine vinegar in the house. Uh, and I didn't read ahead. So we're just gonna keep cooking. We're just gonna keep on cooking, and eventually the vinegar will come, and I will put it in then. I will put it in when the vinegar comes. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. It's me. Everything could go wrong. Why do you have lots of dots of water on you, Apple? <gasps> Look, there are little dots all over this apple, and they look like water, but when you pick them up, they're like red. Red. Can you see this? I don't know if you can see this. There's red on my thumb. Can you see this? What is happening? My apple is bleeding. That's the most Halloween thing ever. What is going on? I've got apple blood all over my hand. Whoa. Cool. What do you do when your apples bleed, you know? Oh, I'm not watching the camera. Oh. Upside down. Oh no. Okay. Okay. New tray. New tray. This recipe works much too quickly. Much, much quicker than I am used to. Baking paper. Ow! Oh, ow! I am not organized enough to be doing this. I don't know if this is working. Do you need the vinegar to stick to it? No idea when that stopped recording. I've got two done, and it's working a little bit, sort of, sort of. Now it looks great. Stay like that because you look great. And what if I, what if I put food coloring in? What if I do that? Because green is my favorite. <gasps> that kind of looks awesome. <gasps> yes, it's all coming together. It's coming together. I'll see you guys when they have set. Yeah, so they've been left to set for a couple of hours now, and they're still not setting, uh, exactly. So, I'm guessing I probably did something wrong. And they looked great when they were shiny and new and only just dipped in the toffee but now it's uh it's it's a little uh it's a little moldy but very halloweeny is what moldy is see see this see this apple i mean it's not it's not the worst thing on the planet but it's not it's not exactly what i had intended but they might still taste good so let's have a try shall we Bit weird if I'm honest. So now I've attempted to make a jack-o'-lantern with plenty of success but lots of risk to my own personal safety and I've tried to make toffee apples um, with a bit less success but uh, with toffee apples to eat at the end. So that's okay probably I guess. I just keep trying to Halloween. I just keep trying to do it. Still tastes like pure sugar and a bit of vinegar. Not that bad. If you enjoyed watching me flail about a kitchen for a while, then I would highly appreciate it if you would hit the like button and the subscribe button. I make videos here every week. Also, I'd be pretty grateful if you would share this video with any friends that you think might also enjoy laughing at my struggles. Or if you could just share it on your favorite social media website. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. I'd like that. I'm gonna keep eating my bizarre little creation, I think. Uh, you guys should go and check out the rest of the posts on the 13 Days 13 Shorts Tumblr. I'll leave a link in the description below. Email this to your grandma and I will see you guys some other time.
It is really weird. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh, it's because I've worked it out. It's because the apple was boiled, so it tastes like apple pie apple. That's what's weird about this. I'm expecting fresh apple, but it's apple pie like apple because it's kind of cooked on the inside. I'm just poking an apple. That was a bit weird.